What's up guys, it's Clex, and today I'm teaching you how to improve faster at Kai Competitive. Focus on making less mistakes, that's the first tip. I know this sounds obvious, but who wins the game is always the team that makes the least mistakes. Think like everything you face is something you can learn from. Whether you did something right or wrong, whether you killed somebody or you died, that is the mindset you want to have. And have a goal you want to focus on in every session that you play. This for you as well as your team as a whole. As I'm sure you know, pros do this after pretty much every map they play when they scrim, regardless if it's a win or a loss, so do the same. Another tip is to review pro gameplay more than your own gameplay. The reason I'm saying this is, this way you can see more of the full potential you can reach in the game. You may be thinking, why don't I want to watch my own gameplay more than someone else's, so I can catch the mistakes that I'm doing? Well, if you are an amateur player, chances are you may be missing a lot of the mistakes that you are making. You aren't at the level of the pros yet. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm pretty sure if we were watching a gameplay and I asked you and Skump what to do in a certain scenario, chances are you and Skump would most of the time choose to play the scenario differently, and Skump would most of the time choose the right play. Watching Scum's gameplay more than your own's would show you the full limits a player's gameplay can go to. Another tip is to write notes down for both the reviewing your gameplay and pro gameplay. Another tip is to review at least one map per day as consistency is key. Now we're going to talk about improving these three main fundamentals in competitive COD. These are positioning, aim, and strategy. Here are some quick tips that will help you improve in those things. When playing, you pretty much always want to be able to trade a kill if possible, especially in SND. If you have the advantage in, say, 3v2, you don't want to give that up. Be in the position to trade by being near your teammates. With positioning, don't run out into the open unless you've got a teammate watching over you or there's some cover that you can use to your advantage. With aiming, something you want to do is align the center of your screen with the person you're trying to shoot before aiming in. And something I've learned about recently via an old aiming tip video by Crim6 that I'm going to link in the description um, is to try to ignore the iron sight on your gun as that's going to go sort of all over the place. So instead, you want to try to imagine a small box in the center of your screen as that will help you keep your gun accurate. Really good video, I recommend it. Weird that it's not on YouTube, it's actually on Twitch. He also talks about movement in the video. So one of them is to not pre-aim when going around a corner, but instead to walk, or in this game, I would say slide around the corner, then pre-aim. Another aiming tip this three-time COD champ recommends, this is a big one, is to aim with your left stick and manage recoil with your right stick. Another thing with aim is to learn tips that I haven't gone through. Look up videos on YouTube, literally search how to improve your aim in Cold War, when this video is done, numerous pros like Apathy, Attach, they go over videos explaining this. And yeah, uh, look up those videos. They're great at covering this aspect of the game as it's really important to improve and especially if you want to improve fast. And for strategy, watch pro gameplay like I said and take advantage of my channel and so many others on YouTube and take note. Also look up hardpoint competitive spawns, lines of sight, those types of videos are already on YouTube, so I now see no point in making them. However, learn from my hardpoint setup series, my 50 pro tips video, and my how to become better at your role series. The next series I'm going to do, which is coming pretty soon, is going to be really important. It's going to be a series on how to break HP setups. So yeah, look for my channel if I got videos on that as well. And another thing, not one of the fundamentals of COD, but rather your mindset. If you're in a high stakes situation, don't forget to breathe. You've got to learn to calm down when you're under pressure. That's going to be the only way you're going to make big plays when it really matters. Now, last thing is going to sound motivational, but believe in yourself. No excuses. If you want to be better, you have to put the time in. It's possible to improve fast, and it's possible to improve fast by a lot. But you have to learn and practice smartly, and you still have to put the work in to see results. Nothing in life is easy. I know that's a cliche thing to say, but it's true. So challenge yourself consistently and realize the only way you can improve is through practicing, playing consistently, and like I said, doing it smart. And side note, this is like another thing, but it's still gonna improve a lot. I mentioned this in my 50 Pro Tips video. 
buy a one millisecond monitor if there's anything you're gonna buy if you already have the game on ps4 or ps5 or pc and you don't like i mean you know if you have a pc you probably have a monitor but if you don't have a one millisecond monitor get that this is going to help your reaction time by a ton all right guys that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and leave a like it really helps with the algorithm pushes out to more people and that will ultimately help the kai competitive community and if you want cut more competitive tip videos like this go ahead and leave a sub thanks for watching guys it's been clex and i'm out peace